Well, hello and welcome to a game that showcases the longest standing rivalry in international football. For a time, the greatest rivalry, certainly the longest lasting one. It is a game written into footballing folklore, a blueprint for all derbies, international and otherwise, that have followed it. So here we have it. I hope you are ready for this ultimate roller coaster. It is, of course, England versus Scotland. Is a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages one of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world and so the national anthem thrown down the gauntlet with that anthem now to match it Call this a friendly, but the crowd clearly doesn't think so. No, in actual fact, the way well, I'm sitting here, Peter, thinking, is it possible for these two to meet under friendly circumstances? This exhibition match is likely to exhibit the same old rivalry. To me, it also has the same feel to it, and I'm pretty sure we can look forward to what will be a combative, high intensity affair. We can't really say anything negative about this, and if it is, full on then I'll be happy to watch that and that gets things running Kyle Walker Shaw Shaw looking to get on the end of this Cooper is there, and he can get that clear. Lofted into the middle. And that is not finding anyone. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Look, he's offering an apology to his teammate, who's clearly miffed at not being picked out despite making what looked like the right run. Rice. And the counter is on. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Well, there's a lot of shapes to shoot. Rice. Kyle Walker. Walker. It's out for a goal kick. He's made sure that that won't get through. McTominay tries to get it forward quickly. Let's put a stop to that. Rice continues his run. Looking to get within range. Chance to shoot! Time 
Gomez lifting it over. Jamusa looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Kane goes for goal! Goal! England! England take the lead! England are so well practiced in the art of keeping the ball through wonderful passing and movement and a real appetite to ensure it's reflected in their goal count. England take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. And he certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. Stones. Almost half an hour in now. England are very much in charge here, dominating possession and a goal to the good. And it's played forward. Plays it over to the other flank. Rashford. McTominay tries to stroke it through. Right towards the front men. Shaw. A real chance to break. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Still going, where to next? Well, Red, he sorted that out. Well, I'm not quite sure he needed to hold up play quite as much as he did then. A couple of his teammates were very annoyed. Goes for goal! Oh, so close to what would... And the half-time whistle goes. So there you have it, a close sport half of football. But what have still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. England leading a cagey game here. It's had its moments, and it's 1-0 at the break. Already up and running for the second half. England really need to go and, and grab another goal now, Peter, if they're going to go on and secure this. Walker. Has a hit! Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. Rashford did give it a fair old crack, and he'll be encouraged to step up again. And once more, they can't get through. Oh, he has a hit! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. It's Fraser. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Deep cross, towering header! Oh, that's a fine save! Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Sancho, who does have an assist to... It's Kane! This could fall anywhere! No messing about, just bludgeoned away. Sancho, massive lead! He's done well to get his head on that, but couldn't score. 
Oh, this was all about good movement in the box just to allow him to get to it. Walker plays it forward. Robertson. It's a throw in. Time for a change in personnel. It's a loose ball. Gets it back. Scotland are definitely going about this the right way. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Just has to be done. Walker. Walker. Huttling down that right flank. Rashford. Danger averted for now. Good idea, just poorly executed. Fraser trying to get there. Deflection, but he's claiming it. Scotland making another change here. England take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, with this kind of authority, Peter, why not push on and, and totally kill this off? Loose ball, who's going to get that? Time to deliver. And it's Fraser. He's had that, has a pop! And the defence can get it clear. And the shot! And no, he couldn't find the finish. Well, that's a real shame, because it could have led to a real momentum shift. It's pretty clear that he's being singled out. Yeah, and having notched a goal already, Peter, he's not going to be allowed to run off the shoulder as, as much as he'll want. He's gone for it! It's gone in! He's gone through his own net! Well, that wasn't in the script, and you have to feel for him, Peter. It's ended in uh, some embarrassment. Fortuitous as it may have been, they all count one. Buck! Buck! That tested the keeper. It could be a lifeline! 
Two more needed. The keeper deserves some sympathy there. He may not have seen that until too late. So, just a consolation, or is there a way back from here? McTominay, Burke, got a shot away! Oh, good effort, he got plenty on that. Burke brilliantly took control of that, which was exactly what the situation required. That's a poor kick by the keeper, he's just given it straight back. Hoists it forward. And he's there to cut it out. And that is it, the referee has seen enough. England always looked the more driven side, probably the better side, and nobody is arguing about the results. Thoughts on what we've just seen? England made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do. These games are always tough, you know, it's, it's not always about four.